He has bothered the heck out of me for food. It's only 540. We've been outside doing some work. Um, I had um, the girl and her husband that cut the tree down last weekend. They came back today with their spray and sprayed my fence lines. Um, it's the other guys weeded it everything, but they didn't have a sprayer. So I wanted to show y'all something that's a quick meal. I've already made it, but it, I mean, it's follow the directions on the back of the hamburger helper box. But this is one of Levi's fa favorite things to eat, and it's quick. Now, it's full of carbs. I'm not going to lie. This is not a low-carb meal at all. But this is um, cheesy enchilada. I do it like, like it says, and I make it. Here it is rice and meat and, and whatever sauce that is that they make it but then i put it in a flour tortilla with cheese and sour cream and I wrap it up like a burrito and he loves that now i usually have mine i know i'm gonna say it i usually have mine with chips like almost like nachos I just put it in a bowl and I dip chips in it, but I put some sour cream and cheese on top of it. So I'm fixing to make this him, uh, for him. Well, I've made this, but I'm fixing to make his plate. We're waiting for the tea to steep. You're not making that tea yet. It's got to steep a little bit longer. Okay. Um, anyway, we worked outside. I was out there with them, showing them everything I wanted weed eat it. Uh, there was one section of fence that I forgot to tell the guys to weed it, and it was up beside my garage by the carport in the shop, and I completely didn't tell them to hit it, so I had those guys hit it with their weed eater, and then she came back behind. The guys did the weed eating, her husband and, I don't know, their worker, and then she came behind with the sprayer. I did a really good job, so I should not have to worry with any of that kind of stuff for a while. So I'll show y'all the yard real quick while this is, um, while the tea is steeping. Give me one second. So I wanted to show y'all this. So you can buy these coffee table kennels. So they're sort of expensive. Hey, pause, I'm doing something. So I went out, because I had this piece of plywood. Now it needs a new coat of poly on it, but it's actually been stained and polyed. It used to be a countertop in my uh, butler's pantry and it's just been stored out in the barn. So I cut it down to size and uh, I ordered this small crate um, yesterday it came in this morning and this is where I'm going to put um, Jensen at night and when I go out to do things so I don't want to take the chance of Levi not paying attention and stepping on him when he's playing or chasing you know just playing in the living room so when I go out to do stuff or at night when we go to bed I'll put him in here I know he's safe and he's got a little bed, a toy. I'll put a little bit of water in his bowl and he'll be in here at night. For sure at night until he's older and can jump in and out of the bed. But I'm also, he's going through deworming right now. He was not wormed before and he didn't have a, sh he, so um, he had never had any shots or any dewormer. So he's going through a deworming process right now too. So he needs to stay sort of kenneled. And um, I just put the bed in there just now just to show y'all what he'll sleep in at night. But during the day, um, I'm just going to have it more like after he eats and he, I realize it's about that time, I'll put him in here. So um, we won't have any nasty accidents in the house until he's completely dewormed. So anyway, I just thought I put this, it's dark in this corner. There's a little lamp there, but with the plywood on the top, you can't see down here. And I had this little battery flip light so I can clean real good down in there and uh it just flips on and off like a 
it's battery operated. It's got magnets, but they won't hold to the, they're like those as seen on TV things. So it literally looks like a, a light. I used to have it in the, let me see if I can get it out of here because this plywood is heavy. I'll just push it back. Plywood's heavy. Uh, One-handed. So it looks like this. And you flip it up and the light comes on. Anyway, I think it came from Walmart. Anyway, I just sat it down on here and flipped it on. And because the plywood is weighing down a little bit inside the cage, it makes it still fit. It still sits flush. That's just pushed down a little bit. You can see it pushed down right there. It, you know, by all rights, that piece would be up here like that. But it's okay. Um, I'm not worried about that. I, I like the light in there like that. I like that I can turn it off and turn it on when I'm going to clean his cage because it's a little dark corner right here. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you all that. And I think he's over there. Let me see if I can see where he's at. Get up off the floor. Oh. Let's see where he's. Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> he just ate. Oh, he's having a dream. So we put him in the kennel. You want to put him in the kennel? Mm -hmm. Jensen, are you having a dream, baby? He needs to be put in the kennel. He's so cute. I might step on him, put him in the kennel. Okay. Are you worried about stepping on him? I love that dog. I didn't step on him. I love him. I know you didn't step on him. Are you worried that you might step on him? I See when we put him in the kennel? Is that why you keep saying put him in the kennel? What? What's I might, wrong? I might. I didn't step on him. I love, I love that dog. I love that dog. I know. You love him. Are you going to finish eating that food? Yes. Okay, because you need to finish your dinner. Yes. I know I had ate too much. All right, I'm going to turn this off, guys. We'll see y'all a little bit later. Can you tell them bye? Bye. <laughs> I was going to show y'all my house. It's a little bit of unorganized and I had it clean this morning. I had everything, pillows were on their couches. When I went to bed last night, this living room was clean. It didn't take long before he's into stuff, but that little thing down there. Jensen, Jensen, <whistles> Jensen. <laughs> Jensen! Wake up! He has played all day and he went out and played. He's not going to wake up. Jensen, wake up, baby. You're going to wake up? Oh, you got to flee. You got to flee. He's not old enough to get of a put any kind of flea stuff on him yet. So, maybe a flea bath. Anyway, he has played rough all day. She has too. We y'all all know she plays hard. But they were outside with me when I was he can't get off the deck anyway, so they were outside with me when I was out with us with that uh with that crew. Alright, hold on one second and I'll show y'all the yard. I got all my plants down again because I was watering them. I cut all of the leaves off of my hydrangea and I've Googled some stuff. So I've ordered some uh, hydrangea food. I guess it's like a fertilizer, I don't know. But anyway, it's for hydrangeas. It's got uh, the acid in it, acidic, whatever, for hydrangeas. And I Googled some stuff because I didn't even know. I thought I'd heard it before, but I didn't know how to do it. I just assumed like, nurseries did it not us people sitting at home but you can put a certain something in this soil that will turn a pink hydrangea blue 
I didn't know that. I just want them pink again. So we're going to see what I can do. Anyway, all these have just been watered. I finished filling these up with soil. And I've got to get them some in the sun more. So I haven't taken them out there yet. It says they do good in um, six hours of sun. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to put them here and see how much sun they get. Eventually, I may have to move them out there to the little deck. Because, see, it's already, well, I mean, it's late. Like I said, it's almost 6 o'clock. But, um, walk out to the garden. But she got all of this. She got, she, um, the guys last week, we needed all that. And then she came and sprayed around the air conditioner and around all that lattice. And then around the edge of the tramp, uh, the deck. All around this fence line. She just walked with that little sprayer all around my pool. All around these bricks and stone, these stepping stones. And um, all along that fence, that fence, they weeded it down that mess that was growing out there in the chicken, uh, in the, I call it the chick, the other chicken house. I don't know what you call it. The brooder. I don't know if I've ever showed y'all that and it's so full of stuff right now because it's going to have to be cleaned out before the chicks and the ducks come. I've got to come out here and clean it out because it's, it's full of stuff. It's separated into two brooders. And um, the bottom is where I usually try to keep most of my chicks because, um, so I unhook it at the top this just this kind of latch it closes real tight up against and i'll clean it out but the chicks stay in here i'll put the light in there the lights clamped right there right now but i'll put it down here um it's so hot right now i'll probably just put a regular old light bulb in there probably not one that stays cool it'll have to be one that gets hot you know the old-fashioned ones oh that fell down in there Anyway, the, the thing about the bottom, that gum, uh, there. Okay. Up here is just storage. I've just thrown all kinds of stuff in down up in there. There's waterers and an old back. That's not feeding that. That's just an old, there's an old feeder back in there that hangs. Anyway, I have a door that fits on over there. There's a door that fits that, and I'm going to have to put new uh ramps here but when they get old enough i'll put it i'll put there's the door right there can you see it just leaned up against that you can see the frame of it it's that real tight wire snakes can't get in and that goes there and um when they have feathered out then i will allow them to come out and I don't mean feathered out like they're still like these little things in your hand, but they're, they're, you know, at least two months old before they'll be allowed to come out into this little yard. And then it is wired with the chicken wire, but it's not wired with the stuff to keep snakes out. So basically I don't let, at night I will keep them inside there locked up. In the daytime I'll let them come out and then they'll go back in at night. And, uh, but they have to be at least two months or a little older for that to happen because up until then, they're just like dumb little things running around. They don't know to go to the light. They don't know to go back in, it's in you know, in the dark. And so, but she sprayed, they weeded, I had them weed eat this and then she sprayed it all around the edges of the, this, see, this is thinking grass right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. That stuff right there got little petals on it like the little leaves on it look like strawberry leaves i i think in my opinion but she's they've got it cut and she's got it sprayed so but they come up the baby chicks come on the 18th so i've got to get that cleaned up and get ready for them this week um i'm also going to try to get started on the duck house this week now, my ducks will be babies, and they won't go out there right away. I'm not going to put them out there till they're big enough that um, the wire that I'll use around it won't allow any snakes in. Um, 
but uh well there'll be good wire around it so snakes can't go in but i don't want them to act have a snake get in there i want them to be big enough they could fend for themselves to a degree i don't know if that's even making sense so i've got some lumber and um sheet of tin that's 12 foot 10 i'm gonna cut it in three four foot sections i've got some bag of cement and some chick starter for the baby chicks and ducks when they get here and then well that's my personal wallet in the truck um there's my the wire it's the hardware cloth that i'll be building the the duck house out of and um so yeah, uh, I'll be starting on the duck house pretty soon. And I wanted to say thank you to Bruce and Stacy and someone from Illinois because I didn't sign the card, but they sent me McCoy's little gift cards. And I was able to go and get this lumber and I still have a little bit of, little bit left if I, think of something else that I need like after I left um I don't know if I've said it in a video or not like I, some of my videos I get uh like I forget what I've talked about but my plan was I really wasn't planning on getting into all this I'm just gonna tell Bruce Stacy Bruce and Stacy and somebody from Illinois thank you for the McCoy's cards. I know that they were meant for the deck, but since I was able to get the deck finished before the cards got here, I used them for the duck house. I hope y'all don't mind that. My plan was to um, build the duck house tall. I'm gonna go back there and just show y'all that real quick. That door right there, on the old so what i want to do my plan was to use that door on that old goat house but i'm not going to do that now because you know i have my tall goat house and then i built that little section off to the side when the three babies and sam came out here they needed more room and um i'm not feeding y'all yet so you can holler all you want i'm not doing it right now Nope, not right now. In a minute. In a minute. So I figured since it is just ducks, it's not like they're chickens and they have to fly up onto a coop or anything like, you know, onto a roost. So I'm going just to build another thing off the side of the goat house right here. This even, basically you can see it's just a little higher. See how I built it? It's literally just a little higher than uh, the rails of the of the fence. I'll do the same thing over here. I will build it just out here, four foot out, six foot long across. So it'll be a four by six duck house. So I'll probably end up just building my own little duck door. I won't be using that other door. So I will probably end up going back to McCoy's for um, some one by fours. So, and I'll just build it like I built this one, just a frame. This is a rectangle frame because it was tall and I had to go in. And I hate to have to put this up here, but they started pushing on that wire. Look at that. So I had to shove, I had to just nail that piece of crud up there just to keep them from pushing through. But I'll build a frame like this. It'll basically be like this bottom section, just this tall and I'll put that on the front. So I'll probably have to go back, I'll have to go back to um, McCoy's for a couple of uh, treated one by fours to build the frame and then I'll need a couple of hinges. But yeah, so that was, that's my plan. So I did want to, uh, the video will be coming out in a few days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build it here on the back deck where I'll be in the shade and then I'll carry each individual wall out there and screw them together 
and it'll be done and then i still need to paint i might get paint while i'm at mccoy's too i still need to paint the shed uh the feed room the goat house and i need to i'll need to paint some of this uh, little duck house too so i do um just want to say thank you to the ones that sent me the uh the gift cards i don't know lester's there's a lot of stuff and i think it's a hydro seed going on over there it looks like they're spraying around his pond i can hear it i don't know if y'all can i don't know if y'all can hear that it's like this loud motor but uh yeah so there looks like that's what they're doing out there by his pond but i just i did want to say that to just to thank Bruce and um, Stacy and the mysterious person from Illinois. <laughs> so thank you guys. I love y'all and um, I'll get a video out to you as soon as I start. I'll try to video myself the whole time working this and I mean I, I can't throw out there a video that's two hours long or more. But I'll try to video myself working on it. And as it get, you want to go in? As it gets done, um, when I get finished, then sort of do some editing and get you all video of the duck house. Because I'm not going to bore everybody with a three-hour video of me sweating and cutting and measuring and messing up, probably. And cutting and measuring again. So, uh... I'll get that out to you, though, in the next few days. So I love y'all, and um, I'll see y'all later.